Welcome back to the second video for the Road to Metamorphic Omelets in Leagues. I'm trying to become the first person in the entire RuneScape to get the Metamorphic Omelet in Leagues. And before we get there though, there's a lot of things to do. A lot, a lot of things. Because it is quite an endgame piece of content. So, today we are going to try to work towards the Gauntlet and Tier 6 Relic. Because tier 6 relic give us the 3x drop chance on unique drops, which will help me add Gauntlet and other bosses. And Gauntlet will give me a Bofa, which will be really good for training and killing other bosses to get their gear for challenge for raids. Now with that being said, I will be doing a ton of tasks, leveling up a ton to get the points to upgrade to a higher tier. Uh, lots of thieving, lots of magic training, really interesting um, discoveries for me personally. And also, there's going to be some interesting fight caves with magic only. Yes, we are going to do magic only fight caves. This is going to be quite an interesting video, so definitely sit back and enjoy. To start off the episode, I finished everything some sand crabs while editing episode 1, and I got a bunch of relics that are really useful. So I was doing melee only, but I was still getting range and magic relics, so that's nice. And it's going to help a lot because they give me a ton of different set effects for this episode. So yesterday I tried to do this task, kill Kelfi Guardian, but I saw this. And I thought I couldn't like go through it, but actually you can just go through it. I saw much to it and I was like, what the heck? What's the point of this? You know, like why, why'd you, why did I even do that? Alright, that's going to get us tier 4. So the main appeal of tier 4 relic is the 2x Passive draw rate increase on unique items from like bosses like Temporos and Slayer mobs. I just finished 25 Temporos kills for points and hopefully with this passive I can get myself some uniques like Tone of Water. What? Damn, sub 5 minutes dude. 450. Level 3 Chef's Catch speeds up this so much. I save over a minute per game soloing Temporos with it. Dang, this Temporos loot might not be the one, guys. Mm. Oh, we ran out, didn't we? That's unfortunate, but I mean, it's still good. The resources are still all right. I'm still broke, so luckily I have a backup plan for money, and that's going to be thieving, so we'll be all right. Ooh, wow, that quest got me to 55 thieving. Okay, <laughs> so I need to get 50 agility as well so I can go and get the rogue's outfit, which will give me double yield on pickpocketing, and we'll stack with the relics. 1200 oh so close man so i use the rune light plugin called the rogue sten plugin that you can download on rune light and it helps a lot with this come on give me the last piece yes okay i'm done finally thank you all right boots and then gloves don't mess this up there we go four rogues e Feels good, man. Alright, time to make some cash, man. Stop being so broke. Look at my money. I have no money. Hold on. Oh, what is this? Deeper Pockets! Oh my god, dude. That's so good. So, Deeper Pockets stacks with the Rogue's outfit. So, you get even more money and more rewards, whatever it is that you pickpocket. Alright, I think I'm gonna move on to RD Knights. I heard they're actually even more GP per hour. So it turns out with level 3 Smooth Criminal, you can do Arty Knight stupidly effectively because you just don't fail all at low levels. Uh, I'm only 66 thieving, but I'm, I am not failing. Look at this dude, the XP rates just keep going up. <laughs> what the heck, 1.8? Okay, yeah, this is also just way better than Black Jacket in general. Arty Knights is such good money. I think I was probably getting 500k an hour GP using level 3 Smooth Criminal and Deeper Pockets. Okay, 81 thieving. I'm happy with that. That's for pyramid plunder. Really nice. I can actually speed up everything with the money that I have. Anyways, in terms of speeding things up, another thing you can do is actually to use your renown to skip quests. It's actually one of the most overpowered things you can do to speed up your account progression in terms of relics here and league points. Because when you skip a quest set, you automatically complete certain tasks, which gets you a lot of the points back anyways. So in this case, I'm skipping Monkey Madness 1, and I'll be skipping a lot more task sets later on. We've done it, lads. We have done it. Dragon Schemata. So I already did Plague City, and I don't feel like doing the other quests for Underground Pass, so... 
We'll just skip it now and get ourselves an Ivan staff. We're going to upgrade the Ivans. That's going to cost us a lot of money, but it's all good. We get like 500k an hour at RD Nights anyways, so we're good. Oh, yes. Now we have BIS Magic. I do not like Death to Dorgashin. That was an annoying ass quest. Oh, yes. Okay. Got ourselves. Let's just buy a bunch, man. I got money, man. So now that the money problem is solved and I have some pretty good starting gear with all three styles, it's time to start getting a ton of points for tier 6 relics. So the first thing I'm going to do is take advantage of my magic. I'm going to Monkey Madness 2 area, unlock Monkey Madness 2 of course, and start bursting. Because if I go there, I get a ton of relics, which is going to be super helpful because I can level up a bunch and get a lot of new ones. And also unlock a bunch of tasks. There's so many tasks in like the Ancient Magic set. That gives so many points. And yeah, we're probably going to also do 5Ks once we get really high magic as well. Alchemanico Relic is so nice for when I'm going for my amulets at Dorgashin chest. Because I can alk all these jewelry for premium price because it gives extra money. I got it. Yay. All right, we're done. Sweet. Got all the amulets. Our goal for magic is 95 magic because I unlock all the ancient magic spells. And also 95 magic. For any level 95 skill, it's also an elite task, so really good points. We estimated we need probably somewhere between 500 and 800 casts of burst, accounting for our relics getting better and stuff like that. And to prepare, I need some money, and paladins are really good because paladins also give me 8 chaos runes per pickpocket with the relics, and also good money. So I can get the chaos runes out of the way right now, and then buy the, the death runes and water runes. Alright, it's time to unlock the desert. For that ancient magics, I'm gonna get a ton of points back from unlocking these, and uh, I'll use those tasks I unlock to unlock the monkey madness too. Damn! Oh my god! Look at look at all these points, man! Every freaking room is just insane points. Alrighty, just a quick trip at the desert got me all the renown that I need back to unlock some of that monkey madness two training spot, man. 26 points, unlock it. I almost forgot that I was really close to tier 5, and tier 5 gives me from 8x XP multiplier to 12x. So I thought I should probably get the 12x before I actually train a ton of magic. It would just save me a lot of runes and all that, and train my relics faster. So I went ahead and did it, did a bunch of random stuff. Uh, landed a fossil island, which is nice for ammonites. And I got a new relic. There it is, 70 magic, we are ready to go. We got the ice burst. And this will be one of our first big uh, endeavors to get the 4,500 points for tier 6 relic. So we're finally here at the Monkey Madness 2 train spot and I'm at the main spot. So it wasn't so crowded for me. I was able to share with one other person, no problem. And the XP was just fine. I think I was averaging like 3 million hour. For my relic set, I was going with Chain Magic for the extra 30% chance of damage and also i went with knife's edge as well so i was barraging with one hp so that way i get like a dorak set effect to hit even harder and yeah this place is amazing you get relics like left and right all kinds too just because you're training magic doesn't mean you get magic only you get a bunch of melees and range as well so i was able to level up so many of my relics and also get so many unique ones that i also unlocked some other cool set effects which you'll see me utilize in a little bit Oh, I did it! Let's go! Level 3 Arcane. Let's freaking go. Now, with these uh, few casts, it's gonna last an eternity, pretty much. Yo, 90 Mage. First level 90 skill. Let's go. Oh my goodness. What is that? 125 points for that one. Wow. There it is. 95 Magic. So one of the newest relic effects I got while grinding a lot of monkeys was the Grimoire set effect, which allows me to get a book that gives magic bonus too. And it also gives me unlimited spell book swaps at any point in time as long as I have it with me in the set effect on me. So that's super good. I can go from normals to ancient magics to lunars to Arceus anytime I want. No cooldown whatsoever. Oh, that's, uh, okay, here we go. We got my friend here. We're going to take turns casting our spells on each other. Uh, we'll use this spell on here. Oh, baby, 50 points. Okay, what else do we need to cast? 
ancients. We're gonna go. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. Yo, what the hell? Look at this. What the hell? Look at all these points. Holy crap, bro. I'm getting so many points. <laughs> Yo, this is stupid, man. Hold on, let me just check. I want to make sure all these tasks. <laughs> Yo, Arcane Grimoire is disgusting. How many points did I just get? Wow, I just gained so many points. So my next endeavor for point gathering is going to do fight caves for the fire cave and unlock the inferno area to Dave to Zahr her. They all give a few hundred points total, so I think it's worth it, and yeah, the fire cape is worth it, and it's time to do something fun, you know? With all of our efforts, we can probably do some mage fight caves, no idea how well it's gonna do, but instinct tells me it's gonna be a good time, so let's try. Ah, oh, got it. Oh man, no food, kite it. All right, we're good. All right, we need to get some food for our fight caves though, but we should be fine. The kiting strat worked. Give me that in view, God Cape, sir. Yes. Hell yeah. Oh, we have 4,000 points now. Ah, there it is. Okay, 100 sharks done. Perfect time to get some sharks for fight caves. So, so I bought some mystics and out my god staffs with the alchemaniacal relic for money bank. And yeah, this is my setup pretty much full mystics with the grimoire. Imbue God Cape, and we have the main weapon that is the Ivan Staff, and also support the Blood Barrage. I did not buy a whole lot of Blood Runes uh, for Blood Barrage because of Soul Runes, but I'm not going to use it too much, I hope. But yeah, that's the setup. We're going to be Grand War swapping. If I need to heal, if I need a mob, I'll switch to Ancients. If it's just single target, I'll just use Ivan's. If everything works according to plan, the only issue I really have is Prayer Potions. I only managed to get two from collecting off monkeys in monkey Madness 2 so i'm gonna have to flick really hard if i had plenty of prayer i think this setup could be really chill even new friendly watch this blood barrage yeah yes okay and then we can switch back oh nice oh that's nice if any of these small NPCs are ever behind any other NPC, I can blood barrage them together like this. It's so nice. Another thing I was worried about is the fact that in fight caves, a lot of the creatures have pretty high magic level, which means that just thinking about it naturally, it sounds like the magic wouldn't do so good, but it turned out to be quite effective, even on the majors and, spoiler alert, even on Jad as well. I was able to hit them quite effectively, actually. But maybe it's because I have adequate magic gear and I'm also like 90 plus magic. But either way, it's not that hard to get what I have in this league. So it's definitely viable. It's not as bad as I thought. I'm actually hitting. Yay, I don't have to de-skin flinch. Oh my god. Thank god, man. I've had to de-skin flinch for like the next 30 plus waves at like 1 in the morning. I would have cried. Oh, this is a big one. What is that? Oh, 2025. Suck it. Suck it, bro. I forgot to mention for my relic setup, I had the Grimoire Spellbook set effect and also the Chain Magic. I was only able to get the 2 set effect instead of the 3, so it was only 30% extra damage instead of 60. But I think next week, they're actually going to make the relic set effects require one less relic. So you should be able to combine Grimoire and maxed out Chain Magic if you want to go Magic Route. It will be super nice, even better than what I did now. Enchanted jeweler. No, 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 no. Get away, get away. Enchanted jeweler level three. Let's go. All right. Good thing for blood barrage, man. Ah, oh, this is so nice, man. Blood barrage makes this so so viable. All right, jet time. Big bad Jed. Okay, okay. We're gonna go for the Tiki because we're we're stupid. Alright, let's go for the Tiki. Alright. Oh yes! We did it. It only hit a six. I mean only hit a three.
Yo, we did it. Let's go. Fire cape done with magic. That's actually not that bad. Oh, yeah. Give me those points. Let's go. Ah, it only took about two hours. But, uh, yeah. I think it would have been a lot easier if I had prayer pots. I only had two. So, yeah. I had to be, like, super, super flicky boy. Ah, and we include the tank, so that's nice. Ooh, a lot of points in that one. Yes. Okay, now we can go thieve something from uh, the other side of the bizarre place for the finale, you know? Oh, I got it. Yes, just complain enough, like Reddit, and you get it. Sweet, that was a good task. Oh, yeah, what a great haul, guys. Great asshole. 4.4k points. Yeah, I'm definitely getting tier, uh, tier 6 maybe tomorrow if I, if I go ham. Oh, this is nice. I just want to chest out my melee setup right now. We got fire cape and all that stuff now. And we have level three. Well, we have the three tier two and strikes, which means our XP rates are going to be awesome. Hey, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like it and also subscribe for more. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys with another one soon. Bye.